When playing Popper Mill, or should I say Turbo Fog, a lot of times your opponent might just tilt out. When you're playing to the board, there's not a lot of things that you can do other than get aggressive. And if all these fogs in the world are going to stop you, well, your opponent might get a little tilted. Enjoy. In this game one, we have won the die roll, and I'm pretty happy for it. A little less resources, but I'm able to put some cards away, try and find some spells, and we weren't able to get there. But hey, a large weather the storm into an arcane denial is nothing to scoff at. Now I see the snow covered forest, and I'm thinking Ponza, which is never great in terms of a matchup for us. We do need our lands to develop to really get anywhere. But hey, we're finding some draw spells. We do have a lot of lands in hand. And honestly, at this point, they're playing a jewel thief and not a land destruction spell. I'm feeling pretty good so i'm going to operate at instant speed and continue to draw but they are going to continue to develop and if they're going to be playing a lot of onboard threats it's going to be a lot better for my fogs but hey they finally get there on the thermal cars i'm going to use that to arcane denial let them draw some cards it's fine but it seems like they're going to need to draw into a lot more to really get anywhere now i draw my card off the arcane denial i play the desert there's not much i'm going to do with it in this game they have really big threats but if it's going to stop their board in some way at some point then it's worth playing now, i'm going to continue to develop my board with the simic growth chamber return the desert use it to ramp but i have the accumulated knowledge i have weather the storm into it in the arcane denial and they're going to play an acid moss destroy that and i'm going to arcane denial that because you know what i need to develop my mana as always i'm going to continue to draw an accumulated knowledge from an accumulated knowledge i'm feeling pretty damn good i'm drawing a lot of cards they're drawing a lot of cards as well but hey that's the type of game you want to play this is going to be a long one just like any other game you're going to play with turbo fog now we're going to preordain which is our only sorcery speed spell we're going to lose the other one that we drew but hey accumulated knowledge into frantic means we have a lot of options they got a boarding party into you and utopia sprawl which is fantastic a lot of luck is on our side at this point because their land destruction is becoming more and more useless now they're going to swing in for nine and i'm going to say hey it's finally time to put out the well fog I'm going to weather the storm. I'm going to gain a bunch of life and really just mitigate some happenstance here. I, I need to make sure my life total is high. I'm going to play the Bajuka Bog, make sure if they're randomly playing any recursion, and they don't have any. And my pieces of the puzzle gives me some interesting options. I get another pieces and I have a frantic inventory available to me as well. And then finally, they're going to thermocarst one of my bounce lands and I finally find my first stream of thought. They are using a lot of mana here and I do have another moments piece and that's fine, but they finally find the initiative this is where i start quivering in my boots a little bit if i'm gonna fog the game there is one mode of the undercity that's gonna allow them to well get me to lose some life they're gonna gain a little bit of an advantage and that's a card that well i can't deal with that is a long game engine so i need to start speeding on my clock here so I'm going to mill them for a little bit. I am going to return some cards and well, that frantic inventory and the piece to puzzle better start working because the weather, the storm isn't going to do too much against a board like this. Now they're going to tap out a bunch of mana. They find an annoyed Altasaur into a land of visionary. Again, the luck that I have, I'm going to keep because if they're not removing my lands, my future mill spells are going to be as large as possible. They are drawing a lot of cards, which is helpful against our plan we're just hoping the cards they draw are not land destruction spells now i'm going to be casting a bunch of fogs keep going play my lands frantic inventory for an arcane denial into an accumulated knowledge which is going to be great for my weather the storm i'm going to ditch some cards here operate at instant speed let them cast some spells and they're gonna well goad one of their creatures they're gonna keep on going I, I i don't necessarily understand why they're going that way i thought that they would want to use the trap mode to make me lose five life but i guess they figured because of everything i'm doing they're not going to make it happen so i'm going to then arcane denial one of their spells they get really tired of this situation they don't think they're getting anywhere and before i even mill them out they've just given up call that tilt Going into game two, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm already in my opponent's head. I don't need to bring in too much. That's too crazy. Again, this isn't really a favorite matchup for us, especially when I see the Arbor Elf out. It's not spelling good. And I do have a bunch of tap lands, but they're going to put the Utopia Sprawl on. That's great. That means that I'm not going to get turn two land destruction. I'm going to get turn three land destruction, likely. Now, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to keep things a little close to my chest, hold up the kind of mana there, and they're going to go boarding party, which again, 
this is in our favor if they're going to play a creature heavy draw if they're going to get aggressive this is exactly the type of hand that i need to be playing against you're not getting rid of my lands which is evidently my most important resource and that's perfectly fine i'm going to growth spiral i'm going to draw a card but they got the pyroblast for it so i lose a land i lose a spell and they're up pretty well but again a little bit of tilt can go a pretty long way. I finally preordain. I have the growth spiral. I put that away as well because ultimately I just need to draw more lands. And I, I'm just not able to do anything with the growth spiral this turn. I need something immediate. So I got the moments piece out. I got the desert. We got lands coming our way, but we were able to fog that. So now we need to slowly continue that. They have a creature heavy hand and we have moments pieces. Things are looking up for us. Unfortunately, with our accumulated knowledge and frantic inventory, there isn't any in our graveyard, but we are able to flash back the moment speech, which is definitely one of the key reasons why it's a fantastic card. But if they're just going to create treasure tokens all day, come on, folks. We're going to win this game. So they're going to attack again. I'm going to moments piece again. and It's just not looking too good for them. They are getting frustrated. They have no way to do this. They really need the initiative to get anywhere. And I finally draw a stream of thought, but it's not really the type of game I wanna play. Now, this is not looking good for me. Let's be honest here. They have a lot of threats out there. They're playing boarding party. They're gonna cascade into a acid moss. I'm gonna be losing some spells here. I'm gonna be forced to cast something like the moments piece to stop this to really get anything going this uh, game. And I'm gonna then play draw spell at the end step. A lot of things coming in. I don't know why they're attacking, especially since I cast the fog, but I guess maybe again, we're in their head and they're getting a little hazy. I'm gonna play the weather storm, get myself back up because ultimately that is the last two moments pieces that I have. I have a Jace's erasure, but unfortunately we are down on resources. Those moments pieces have to be working for us as best as possible. And I'm losing out on lands. I'm personally thinking we're going to a game three. The, the Ponza players finally found the win that they needed but for some reason with that last fog cast and three cards in hand and a full board state they have given up the game and that's what it's about folks get in your opponent's head and you can find your way to victory in any situation